Don Gullett, I'm the baseball coach. Um, I got six guys here, so I'll start by saying they're all ECC champs this year. As coach, these guys came in my first year here. Um, I'll talk briefly as a group. Uh, they've changed the culture here. Um, you know, there are several of these guys. All these guys dressed in 2019 as district champs. So as a group, they've done some good things, but I'll go one at a time. Johnny Berliner. Uh, Johnny's first year here, um, wasn't sure. Long, gangly guy that we didn't know what we were gonna get, but how hard he's worked, he's one of the hardest guys to hit in the city. So I know he's gonna do well at the next level. I wanna thank all my friends and family for pushing me and for making me grind it out and having the long season. So I wanna thank Coach Bella and Coach Schneider for the help they did to put me where I am. Little Hinkle. Will broke the ECC record for strikeouts. Uh, better, better kid, better young man than he is a pitcher. Um, great student, as everyone here knows that. Um, he's most likely going to win pitcher of the year. If he doesn't, I'm going to throw the room. <laughs> but uh, kids worked hard ever since day one. Once again, part of the pitching staff that broke an ECC record, right? Actually shattered the ECC record. So I know he's gonna have success in baseball and in the Bible. Well, first I wanna thank my family for helping me develop into the player, but more importantly, person I am today. And then I wanna thank my coaches, especially Coach Snyder over there. He did a great job with us pitchers this year, especially helping us set the league record. Can I just call him Capo? Uh, <laughs> Nick Capistasio. Um, call him Cap, he's also the captain. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do when he's gone here because nobody else here wants to do field work. So, shows up early, always late. Um, I would say, no offense to anyone else, probably the hardest working guy we have. And, you know, just a, just a grinder. Was starting catcher in 2019 on the district championship team. Um, should be first team all conference this year. And I know he's gonna be good next year when he heads into college. So, I talk to his coach all the time. and They're looking forward to it. my mom for being my biggest fan, and I'd like to thank my dad for being my first coach and being the best PT throw in the nation. I'd like to thank the rest of my family, my sisters. Um, I also like to thank my coaches, my friends, my teammates, especially the GBG. My man, Max Pine. <laughs> like a fan favorite. Um, he gets more cheers than most in our games. Um, I, th I think the, the best thing I can say about Max, Max, Max is a grinder, um, a tough kid. Um, we're playing a walnut, probably a good story, quick story. I'll try to be quick, but um, you know, he's, his nose is bleeding. It, it looks like a mash unit. Um, there's stuff and things in his nose. And in 10 minutes, he comes to Coach Snyder and I and says, I can play again, right? I can get back in there. That kind of defines Max. He doesn't quit. He keeps moving forward. Um, also a starter in the 2019 district championship team. And, uh, 
a big part of this year. So I'm proud of him. Glad he's moving on. And congrats. Jake Para. Jake, probably true definition of never quitting, never giving up. He was a catcher on the 2019 roster. Um, and I remember that year. I tell a real quick story here. He came in, he said, I think I'm going to pitch. I said, have you seen our pitchers here? I don't think you're going to pitch here, man. And within a year, I told him when the season began, I said, you've already proved me wrong, for sure. And probably the best breaking ball in the city, right? And I'm just I'm proud of him. And the thing is, with Jake, Jake always makes sure I have fun doing what I do. You know, keeps me and Coach Snyder from losing our mind because he's always got something to say that life is moving. I know he's going to be successful. And we're super proud of him. Uh, I'd like to thank my family for. Uh, Pushing me, always being there for me, helping me out. I'd like to thank my coaches for always pushing me, and I'd especially like to thank Coach Snyder for always being there. Grady Stickney. Another guy that's worked really hard um, was a backup in 2019 um, to our other catcher. And this year, I, I, I think Grady's the best defensive catcher in our conference. Um, I said it the other day to the umpire when he made a bad throw because the guy got in his way. I said, he doesn't make throws like that. He's the best defensive catcher in the conference. I got a good smile from Grady. Um, Grady's a talented kid. He's worked hard. And his IQ of baseball has just jumped in the last two years. He really wants to be good. And I'm super proud of him. Like I said, I didn't have time to prepare a speech really. We got told that we were going to do this when we got here. So um, I'd like to thank my parents, my mom, my dad. Uh, me and my dad go out in the falls almost daily. Um, it means a lot to me. You know, they go out and spend all their money and time with me. My mom's my biggest cheerleader, always has been. She's actually the team's biggest cheerleader. She cheers for everybody. Um, so yeah, it means a lot. Uh, I'd like to thank my coaches as well. Definitely the best coaches I've ever had in my whole entire career of baseball. So thank you, Coach Snyder, and thank you, Coach Golden. Uh, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, we got the playoffs next week. Uh, it's Mount Healthy on Tuesday. So if you can make it out there, go ahead. Come out and watch us. Support.